sporting events in Tokyo on the last day of the 1991 World Championships. And now we'll bring you the men's 1500 meters final. The World Championship 1500 meters final. And the race on, Cacho is the early leader. Suleiman of Qatar also right on the inside. Yates has dropped in that familiar position towards the back. As they settle down now, approaching the first bend, they've slowed it right down. And it's Cacho leading. Up on the outside is David Cavett. De Napoli is right there. Morsley in the middle. Simon Doyle is wide, Karachi is wide, and a waiter waits at the back. 1,500 metres, three and three-quarter laps of the track. They've got three laps to go now. Kabet takes the lead. Karachi now of Kenya in second place. Eased out of the way by Cacho, drops back to fourth. And coming round to complete the first lap. And the Kenyans taking it on, as they love to do. It's Kabet leading. Morsley in second place. Karachi third, 58-0-2. Well, that's a very respectable time, and I think they'll be delighted that they're going at this pace, because when we looked through the field, we weren't sure if there was a natural leader amongst them, and they debated that themselves, and they were concerned about it, because distance runners prefer to run at the pace that they train at. They prefer to run sub-60 for the 400-meter for the 400 meter laps, and surprisingly, almost, Kibet taking it on. I don't think this is a winning effort, and Morsley on the inside, looking to be in the right position with... with um, Karachi on the outside and Awita tracking them. So the race is beginning to boil. And look at Jens, Peter Herald on the inside. He's getting a true, he's getting a trouble-free run, as is Matthew Yates at the back. Now Matthew must get a little bit closer because he can't afford to give them this, this kind of space. Two laps to go, and the race is beginning to boil. Approaching the 800 meter mark. Still Kibet in front, Morsley in second place. Karachi third. Herald up there in fourth place, the European champion. 157.43, respectable. Herald right on the inside in the red and white of Germany. Morsley's right out of trouble, tracking the leader. That's where he likes to be. Lives behind the front runner. Right on the outside, Awita makes his move now. He's come up from near the back. Matthew Yates still hanging out the back. They've got to get into position now, and Yates has got to make some sort of move because they'll be hearing the bell shortly. Kibet leads. Morsley in second place. Awita's right there. Harold is there. Cacho is there. On the near side is Karachi. And there goes Morsley with the long run for home. Awita goes second. The time of the bell, 2.41.30. It's not fast, but it's going to be a tear up on the last lap. Morsley winding it up all the way. Awita is the man in second place, Garocci is third, Harold four, Cacho five, Di Napoli six, and Fulbrook a seven. Kibet dropping back in eighth place, and Matthew Yates still in last place, but going up now into 11. Simon Doyle's right out of it. Less than 200 left, and this could be an Algerian double, because Bulmoka won the women's 1500 yesterday, and Morsley looks unbeatable now, with Garocci in second place. Harold is third, but he stretched them right out. Look how much he's taken out of them on the last lap. He's gone right away. And he's still going away. 21 years old, unbeaten this season, and coming home as champion of the world. Karachi in second place. And Fulbrugger may just have taken Harold on the line for third place. Awita couldn't live with him on the last lap. And no wonder Awita calls this man the athlete of the 90s. The last lap approximately 51.7 and didn't he do some damage to this field he looks like a distance runner to me he has flirted at 3,000 meters and run very very well indeed and he says he's going to have a go at 5,000 meters well i think he's like a weeder i think he is a perfect distance runner he's not built strongly he looks more at, at ease when he's flowing and running this sort of time than he does with a slow race with a fast finish but he absolutely destroyed them. Kirochi there, done very well to finish second in this race because we didn't think he could win it, but we thought he might steal a medal. And Harold, well, he was my outsider to give, give Moselli a race if it had been slower, but he was nothing doing. I think he celebrated a very happy Algerian. The 